there. And let's turn it over to our director, Nancy Lagan. We love our Nancy Lagan, best demonstrator ever. You're gonna love her. Go, Nancy. Pam, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Lydia. You touched my heart and we love you so much. Um, Tupperware really can change your life. And so if you're sitting out there tonight thinking, well, I'm just watching a few chefs cook and that's what it's about. No, it's about more. It's about the people. So if you join Tupperware, um, you know, I've been in for 28 years and I actually sold way back in the 70s too for about five years. Um, you can join and quit and come back. You can stay in the whole time. You can do what you want with this business, but the people build you up and support you. And it gives you so much self-confidence. So tonight it is Cinco de Mayo. And when I was young, I was never home on Cinco de Mayo night because my husband and I were out drinking margaritas somewhere in some Mexican restaurant as we all should be doing. But today I don't like the long lines. And so I make Cinco de Mayo at home. Um, and so there's all kinds of tacos you can make, regular tacos. There's a Bamba, it's a place downtown and they have tacos like you've never seen before. They have fish tacos and they have pulled pork tacos and they're amazing toppings on them. And so I found a recipe for shrimp top tacos with a lime crema sauce. And so I've never made this, but it just smells delicious here, okay? Because I grilled the shrimp earlier so they'd be all done for you. And you use your Tupperware products. And so the first thing I did was I marinated the shrimp. Um, now, normally you use a pound of shrimp, but my husband's working late at the election board tonight. So it's just me. So I want one taco. So I made five little shrimp and I marinated them um, and not even marinate, just mixed them up with some olive oil, cumin powder, garlic powder, paprika, cayenne pepper, but I don't like that. So guess what? I didn't put it in. So you put in what you like and what you like to eat. A little bit of salt and some lime juice. And what I did is I mixed it up and I put it in our micro pro grill. Now you can put these in an air fryer and cook them for about 13, I think it was like eight minutes. Let me see, it was really quick. Um, yeah, about eight, nine minutes in an air fryer. You can saute them in a pan or use our grill. And all I did was put them in our grill and it has our metal on the top and metal on the bottom. I put the shrimp, I put five little shrimp in there, put the metal bot down and I grilled them for five minutes. And I wanna show you, now these have been cooked for a while, but that's what they look like. They're deliciously grilled shrimp. And so then um, the shrimp are done and I made the lime crema sauce. And so this is, oh God, it's so good. All right. It is made with um, sour cream and a little bit of mayonnaise and a little bit of lime juice and a little bit of salt. Now I already mixed it. So you didn't have to watch me measure all that um, because it's getting a little bit late. So I mixed it all up and this is what you're going to put on top of the shrimp on top of the cabbage. So I have cleaned fresh cabbage and I'm going to make some coleslaw. Now I could chop it, I could grate it, I could put it in many of our products, but I'm gonna put it in the Power Chef with a couple garlic cloves. And I just uh, washed my cabbage and put it in here. And I'm just gonna put a little bit in here to make some coleslaw because you can buy coleslaw, but if you ever opened a bag of coleslaw and then you put it, whether you put it in fridge smarts or you don't, how long does it last? Oh God, it gets brown so quick. So you wanna use fresh cabbage and that's what this is, fresh cabbage. Now I put it in here in our fridge smart and it'll last like three times longer. So all of your vegetables will last that way. So I put it in here with some cilantro, but you don't see the cilantro because Mark's was out of cilantro. So guess what? I don't have it. I'm not putting it in. Oh, I'll live. Okay. But if you love cilantro, buy it ahead and keep it in. I guess everybody was making stuff with cilantro tonight. Then you just lock this in and you pull the cord. Okay. And you chop up and make your cabbage. It's all made. Okay. Oh, a couple leaves still out. We got to do it a little bit more. And the garlic is all in there. Now I like a little bit of onion. So I'm just going to chop a little bit of onion in there because I like a little bit of onion flavor in everything. And if you don't, whoop, got to have it locked in because if you don't, it won't work. And you pull the cord. Now my onion is chopped in there. So what you do is you take out your slaw. Okay, and you just dump it in a bowl. And of course, everyone I think used our spatula tonight. This is my very first time using this spatula because I was in love with the old spatula. And then I thought I better get the new one for cooking demos. Oh, it's so, so cool because the top never comes off. The silicone part never comes off the handle. So it's absolutely great. So you put your coleslaw in there and you chop it up as fine as you want. Put a little bit of the lime crema sauce in it. 
and you just toss it, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a taco. Now I used, of course, I love Chi Chi's and the margarita mix is from Chi Chi's, okay? Um, because this already has the um, alcohol in it. So it's really good to have. And then I took a flour tortilla. I warmed it in the microwave, of course, on our microwave plates. And you just take a little bit of this coleslaw and you put it down inside here. And then I'm going to take my five little shrimp and I'm gonna place them on top and look how they grilled, is that cool? And you know what, you can, and these shrimp, I just buy them and I keep them in the freezer and I, and I just um, thawed them out. And then you just take your shell. I don't know if you can see this here. You take your shell and you just whirl it up. Now I like a little extra sauce. So you just put a little extra sauce on top and then you roll it up and there is your shrimp taco, my margarita, and I'm off to have a really great Cinco de Mayo night. How about you? Have a great night. Ha, ha, ha.